Good morning. In this presentation, we are going to see how we can trade in MCX Gold today. Before looking into that, let us see what happened yesterday and what we expected yesterday. Yesterday, Gold market opened around 30,010. So, this is the zone where the market opened yesterday. And if we see the previous week price closing, on Friday, the market closed around the same zone. Around 30,000, the market closed around the same zone. On Saturday, the market just closed above 30,000. And yesterday, you can see more or less near the same zone. On Friday's uh, closing, the market opened yesterday. <coughs> and what we expected yesterday was that we expected gold to continue its uptrend. Because on Friday, we had a very huge gain in gold market. We expected that the market will continue its gain in gold. So let us see what happened after that. After the price opening, we can notice that there was initially there was some drop. So after the price opening around 30,000 and uh, 30,010, the market came down and tested the support zone of 29,920. We have marked the support zone of 29,920. So based upon the histories of uh, the previous support and resistance, we have marked this 29,920 as a possible support in gold market. So let us see what happened after that. The market just took the support around the same zone and you can see the level of buying it had. So this 29,900 and this 29,920, this is the zone where the market provided some support. And you can see that pushed the market clearly and the market just moved and tested 30,120 which is a possible resistance in gold market because you may notice that on Saturday, on Saturday the market was trying to stay above this uh, 30,120 and a failure to stay above 30,120 caused the market to open lower. So you can see this is a very good gain in uh, gold market what we had yesterday. Initially there was a drop and the market took some support around 29,920 to 29,900 and there was a good gain in gold market and there was a huge more than 200 points there was a gain so let us see what happened after that whether the market sustained that zone or uh, whether what happened after that let us see the market was consolidating around 30,060 you can see the market was consolidating here for a long time so every candlestick represents 7 minutes you can see that means that here there was a huge struggle in gold market what gold was trying to do is that it was trying to take some support around 30,000 and 20 the gold is trying to stay above 30,000 that is what the, the, it is trying to do it is trying to stay above 30,000 but since there was some strong resistance around 30,060 you can see the gold was struggling to move above this zone and that just pushed the market to break this 30,020 let us see what happened after that so what we can do is that here we have another support so that is what the market is saying the 29,960 provided some support in the earlier session so now the market has taken some support and again it's trying to break this 30,060 and let us see whether the market was successful in breaking but there was some failure in, the, in breaking this 30,060 so that pushed the market again to 29,960 uh, so it, you can well notice that this 29,960 is now providing some platform of support for the gold market and 30,060 is providing some resistance uh, you can you can notice that after this huge gain initially the market was trading within this zone but we cannot uh, neglect the fact uh, there was some sell buying on dips uh. so here we had some good buying and the LA session also we had some good buying but in the later session if you see just the candlestick whatever you can see you can see a lot of red color candlesticks rather than this black because all this black indicates a bull candle and all this red indicates a bear candle you can see there was some uh, lot of red uh, red candlesticks are showing so let's see what happened whether the market sustained this nine so though that was a failure that caused the failure and uh, the market came down so again uh, we know the buying we have a large buying zone so the market again taking some support around 29,920 and we may notice that the price is consolidating here for a long time and the price closed around 29,920. So this is the zone where the market closed yesterday. So on comparing the entire price action, we can say the half the session was dominated by the buyers. So it was clearly dominated by the half of the session was dominated by it and the next half you can see all red. You can see more red than black. So it was dominated by the sellers. That happens after a huge gain that will be some profit taking but what we are expecting today so that is going to be important we are expecting gold to open around 29,960 so 
so the yesterday's market closed around 20920 which is just uh, lower than the price opening and you can see the low and high that was created within the uh, previous day's trading zone so that is was within the trading zone of the last week and there was some resistance around 30060 and uh, today it is uh, the since the price is expected to open around 29960 so the price opening is also above the major support zone of uh, because we know that 29920 provided some good support in the earlier session and this 29960 also provided some good platform so if the price can sustain above 29960 or within this zone if there is any bounce back above uh, 29960 again it is going to support the market and it can possibly push the market higher so what we can expect is that today also we are expecting gold uh, to continue its uh, uptrend so what you can do is that uh, you can go for a buying uh, like what we what we expected uh, till 29720 uh, you can go for buying we know it is a very huge average point uh, but uh, given the volatility given the price factors uh, just wait for the price to hit uh, so all the major support zone and go for an average uh, so till this zone 29720 the market holds good for buying and you can place a stop loss around 29690 so there is no other option left for us you considering the multi market volatility in commodities for the last few weeks you need to go that is why we always say trading in gold needs some sufficient funds you can average till those zone and make a note that uh, whenever you are going to average please make sure that you book profit for the average loads at uh, particular time intervals uh, so that will always help you so and the expected target zone we need to be very close and watch this zone at 30,060 because uh, we know that this is uh, providing a good resistance uh. so like we saw that uh, the last week uh, in the previous contract uh, 29,220 you may remember the zone uh. so this 29,000 after a very huge bounce back the market struggled to break 29,920 after breaking that it pushed the market higher so like that uh, the market now it is going to be 30,060 it is providing some resistance what we need to do is that we need to closely watch the market 29,920 and 960 if the price is going to break down below this zone just wait for a good price opportunity after that it doesn't indicate the market can reverse its trend and it can fall just again wait for some good uh, zones like 29,860 29,820 720 these are the zones the particular zones we can go on average and always uh, you can expect the market to provide some pullback like what happened in the early session there will be some buying on uh, dips uh, so let us uh, because we are always trade with the trend and we expect the gold to continue its uptrend for today also so let us see what's going to happen during our trading session and uh, thanks a lot for all your support and watching our videos uh, take care happy trading bye